I say this all the time and people are always wondering what I mean when I say you can literally eat whatever you want and still lose weight, still get to your fitness goals. In which case people and maybe yourself right now, you're wondering why is this guy just lying in my face like that? Well, it's not the case. In today's video, I'm gonna show you why this is true, how it's true, and how you can start implementing this strategy for you to also eat whatever you want and still lose weight. Let's do it. What's up everyone, it's your boy John Mango. I'm here representing Beyond the Iron where I'm looking to take your fitness and your nutrition further so you may change your life forever. If this is your first time stopping by on the channel, just wanna let you know that my main focus on this channel going forward is to help anybody that's looking to lose fat and build or maintain muscle in the process using something called flexible dieting and my four keystone habits system, okay? Again, this is fat loss stuff, that's what we're focusing on so um, if you are new to the channel first time coming by and that's something that interests you and you know you feel like I could help you get to those goals of yours without having to sacrifice your lifestyle your life your friends your family whatever which of course I can help you with that then by all means consider subscribing so we're gonna dive into the video I want to let you know that if you stay until the end I'm actually going to provide you with a free system that you can use to implement what I'm gonna explain here to see results immediately Immediately, okay now if you're a little impatient you can just go ahead and check out the link at the top of my description box right down below but hopefully you're gonna stick around and listen to why it's so important that you know this okay so let's go ahead and get started why can you eat whatever you want and still lose fat why aren't people doing this well they are and uh, let's go ahead and talk about why this is possible now the reason why this is technically possible is because at the end of the day we have to understand that there is one thing that directly causes fat loss to occur i'm talking directly causes it okay so you'll often see people demonizing sugar demonizing sodium or fats or this food or that food uh, and in reality the reason they do that is because and again you may be guilty of doing this which is not your fault but correct me if i'm wrong we we all think sugar is bad, right? Sugar is the cause of obesity, but in reality, we are not realizing the difference between correlation and causation. These are two completely different things. So let me paint you a real quick picture. The reason sugar has been correlated to obesity is for the simple fact that people eat too much sugar. Too much sugar usually means that you are eating too many calories. Eating too many calories directly means increasing body fat. Increasing body fat then directly means a higher risk, a higher chance of diabetes if you and, and other complications. Now, go ahead and just take the beginning and the end and you might go ahead and make that conclusion that, oh my God, sugar is terrible for obesity. It's not the case. It comes down to that little thing in the middle which is increasing calories. Believe it or not, You've heard it a million times, or maybe you haven't, but the truth of the matter remains. And you can check one of the studies that I've cited at the bottom of the description to show you calories in versus calories out. These, this calories are the direct cause of obesity and similarly the direct cause of weight loss. So that being said, if you eat a certain amount of calories that causes you to be in a caloric deficit, you will in turn directly lose fat. And as a result of this, the correlation is that you will likely be consuming less sugar if you're eating less calories. So I just wanted to use sugar as an example as to why you technically can eat whatever you want and still lose weight. Hopefully you understand now why it's possible to do this. Why does this work? Now I wanna talk about how you can actually go about doing it. And this is a very simple concept as well, uh, but it's not necessarily easy to execute on because there's some technical factors. But let me go ahead and explain it for you so what we call flexible dieting which is my method of choice for the hundreds of people that I've helped lose fat the reason this is the superior method of dieting or losing fat is because it keeps into account two things it considers your goals in this case fat loss 
and it considers your lifestyle. Now, every other fad diet, the reason it's a fad, people don't stick to it, is because you gotta sacrifice one or the other. Either you've been on a terrible diet, in which case you sacrificed your goal, and your preferences, which is cheesecake and donuts, has taken over, and this has led you down the wrong path, which is typically what leads people to watching videos like this, not saying that you're obese or nothing, but you, you get what I'm saying here. Or they're gonna say, okay, we're gonna focus on your goals, but you're gonna have to sacrifice the cheesecake, you're gonna have to cut this, that, this, cut the carbs, do this, and, and it's not really keeping your preferences in mind. Obviously, everybody's different, everybody has different preferences. So, flexible dieting, otherwise known as if it fits your macros, is the best of both worlds, and it is the only real way to achieve this. This is why it's superior. So, how does flexible dieting work? Well, I'm sure by now, just from the name, you've got a decent idea of what it is, or maybe you've seen it around. What you essentially have to do is be able to fit, imagine a box, okay, that box is your calorie budget that your body can intake before it starts going overboard, okay? So if you eat so many calories, let's say it's 2,000, you will lose fat because remember, calories in versus calories out is the primary and the only direct way to lose fat. So if you eat 2,000 calories, you can technically fill those calories up with any calories you choose, okay? That could be donut if you want one, or you know you're craving cheesecake, you can make it work. The key there is, is portion sizes, right? Because obviously you can't fit a whole ton of cheesecake in 2,000 calories. You can only probably fit a little slice maybe. You can only fit, you know, maybe a, a donut or two. Because you obviously still want to be consuming foods that are giving you adequate micronutrients, your vitamins and minerals and all that good stuff, okay? So, you know, it's obviously never ideal Nobody is ever in an ideal position if they are only eating donuts and cheesecake, which by the way, if you don't like those, it's okay. It's just the example I'm using in this video. But if you only eat donuts and cheesecake, of course, there's gonna be other technical components that come into it. If we talk about eating for body composition, performance, and all that stuff, then there's gonna be a specific ratio of healthy to non-healthy foods that you should be consuming within that calorie window. Okay, so that that is how you can achieve this. You can achieve flexible dieting by having that flexibility to keep your goals in mind and always inch towards them without sacrificing anything, literally eating those foods that you want so long as you are conscious and aware of the amount of that food that you can consume, fit it within the window, and yes, it is that simple, you can do it too. So now that you know why you're able to eat the foods you love, lose weight, how through the flexible dieting method, there's still so many different ways to implement it. There's a lot of trial and error that goes into it. So what I've done is I've created a free mini course that again, you can check in the first link in the description right down below. Sign up for this free mini course, 100% free. And the reason I made this is because it's going to give you step-by-step -step guides so that you can immediately in the next couple of days, start seeing results and implementing this into your lifestyle. No trial and error is needed. So go ahead and check the course out. And the reason I'm doing this is because I've already helped hundreds and hundreds of people, probably thousands if we look at the channel and the, the following across some social medias, but I've helped so many people achieve their fat loss goals and you know stay sane mentally, enjoy their lives at the same time to the point where they're really mind blown. So I really want to make sure that I can push this out to as many people as possible and that is the reason I created this course and you can benefit from it ASAP. So long as you click that link, sign up for it and make sure you get it before I take this down because at the end of the day, you gotta pay the bills, you gotta feed the family, you gotta do all that stuff, right? So I just wanted to put this out there to help as many of you as possible in the shortest amount of time possible, and uh, this is the best way that I feel like I can do that right now. I also have tons of other content on the channel, of course, and one thing I do want to tell you is if you want to figure out your calories that you need specifically, which is the first step, then by all means you can click in this top right-hand corner to see the video that I made showing you the specific way that you can do it, the most accurate your method to tracking your calories. Okay, so again, that's it. Uh, that's gonna be it for the video. Just a quick brief overview as to how you
you can do this. If I were to break that course down into this video, it would be like an hour long. So instead I broke it down into bite-sized and digestible chunks that you can absorb, start implementing and see results that are gonna make you and your body happy. That's it everyone, thank you so much for stopping by. If you stayed until this point, I really appreciate you. And if you haven't yet, by all means subscribe to the channel as I'm bringing more weekly fitness, fat loss, nutrition specific content every single week and I'm spitting all over the place for some reason today but hey it is what it is so don't forget to subscribe share this with your friends share this with people who are on the keto diet on the intermittent fast all oh, share it with them I want to spread the message I want the more people on this planet to be aware of the power behind this method okay so that's it everyone again thank you so much for watching John Mango Beyond the Iron I'll see you on that next video I'm out